So the absolute best NDI tool is one that a lot of people don't even know about or use. It's called Studio Monitor, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to use it. All this and more, coming up next. So I'm here with Lindsay, our co-producer. Hello. And Lindsay, how, you don't have a lot of experience producing live streams, right? No, I started last week. Okay, so she started <laughs> last week. But we thought it would be important to have somebody dedicated to do part of our live stream. So two parts. So one thing Lindsay was doing was showing social media comments. Mm -hmm. And she was showing them on the big screen. So this this happened for the 2021 Worship Summit, mm -hmm. Summer Worship Summit. And I was the actually the host, so I'm on camera and I can actually see what Lindsay is doing because those two monitors in our studio are set up to show whatever you're producing. So why don't you show kind of what you're up to. So for one thing, Lindsay sometimes will show like who's the next speaker, what's coming up next. Um, and so what's the current time? What's the latest comment? So why don't you show a comment? And what this does is it actually triggers an overlay inside of vMix. We're using vMix social. So comments from YouTube and Facebook, showing them up on the screen with the person's profile picture. So as the host, I can actually see, oh, what's the person's name? What's their comment? Mm -hmm. And it was really nice. So this was used in a couple different ways. This NDI source was brought into both monitors, but also our video production computer. So Mike had access to your video content to display and take full screen as well. So we used it in a couple different ways. Let's take a closer look at Studio Monitor now that we've seen that use case scenario. This is an NDI video output from our video production system. Lindsay, why don't you go ahead and switch? Boom, she's making switches live. She's doing stuff and it shows up on one two monitors within our studio. Let's take a closer look real quick. High level, what is Studio Monitor and how does it work? Well, to show you that, what I really need to do is take it out of full screen mode. You can see here, it's like a small window. And in the left-hand side here, there's a menu. And we'll show, we'll go through all of this, but in general, what this allows you to do is take any NDI video source, whether it's coming from OBS, from vMix, from Wirecast, from any NDI capable system. I could go on and on about how many Mimo Live, Livestream Studio, Pro Presenter, Easy Worship, so many different softwares, outputting them onto televisions, and then you can actually remotely control Studio Monitor. So let me show you how that works in a minute. All right, let's fire up Studio Monitor by typing in Studio Monitor into our start bar, launching it right at launch. You'll notice there's a QR code and an IP address. It disappears kind of quickly unless you hover over it like that. But that QR code, you can scan and it will open up the control for the NDI Studio Monitor. You can also find that, by the way, in Studio Monitor, in settings, in the application, it says web control. And we'll take a look at the web controller in a moment because the web controller allows you to remotely control whatever is on Studio Monitor. So just taking a look at Studio Monitor, if you have a PTZ camera that has NDI, it will give you the PTZ camera controller here. Uh, if you're using a PTZ camera, you can also have a joystick. Uh, so you can use an Xbox joystick controller. Really cool feature, but for most applications, you're going to right click the application or click the menu button and you're going to choose a video source. Um, so you've got all these different sources that you can choose from and it's going to show an NDI video feed, whichever one you've chosen. Now, in the settings area of the application, you can actually run in multiple monitors of Studio Monitor. So you can have a third monitor in full screen, a second monitor in full screen, a lot of great ways to do that. Record video. So you can record a video directly through the Studio Monitor using the red button there. So that's nice if you need to record an NDI video channel on your network. And that's how you set the recording path there. Oops, settings, application set record path. So you can start in, uh, you can start run at Windows when it starts. You can just empower an entire window to show an NDI video feed. 
You can also choose to an audio feed. So there's lots of NDI audio feeds available. You have a lot of video options. I won't go into all of these, but for example, you can kind of put like a center cross on here. A lot of different ways for viewing the video with safe areas, for example. And it's that, that's nice as a camera operator. Got all this information. Another thing that's nice for a lot of people is the low bandwidth option. I need to zoom out to be able to show this. Hold on. Uh, when we right click this in settings, under video, there's a low bandwidth option. So if you're having bandwidth issues with NDI, you can choose to do bandwidth option. You can also allow hardware acceleration. That's an option that if you have NVIDIA graphic card, for example, you should probably be using. And then the lowest latency there is checked. Now you also have the ability to do picture in picture, which is kind of nice. Uh, see this overlay with picture in picture. Uh, this has actually been popular for a lot of different scenarios. And we'll take a look at this via the web controller to show you how that works. But you can see here, you can have picture in picture or an overlay using an alpha channel as well. You can output to multiple monitors. You can have it scale to the window. So however size the window you want, it's just really nice. I mean, you don't need to go over every single feature but I do want to show the web application, which is 192.168.1.165. So this is Studio Monitor. So this is really nice. This is just a little web controller for Studio Monitor. And it's going to allow us to A, see the current monitor that it's, we're controlling. So you can see here, I have three Studio Monitors open. Uh, so I can actually choose between all the studio monitors that are available. Oh, that one over there was locked. You can have a password on studio monitor. You can go through all of your sources. You can decide whether or not you want to overlay. You can remotely record and you can mute the audio. So big thing here is that you can control whatever is on any monitor running studio monitor from anywhere on your local area network by using that IP address that gets served up from Studio Monitor. So in a nutshell, that's really all you need to know about Studio Monitor. It's a great way to view NDI video sources. You've got some powerful connectivity options for controlling the video, and you can control it all remotely. All right, well, that's it. Now you can see how we're using Studio Monitor here in our studio. But more importantly, I hope you can figure out a way to use Studio Monitor. If you're using it, let us know in the comments below. I'd love to hear how you are using Studio Monitor or NDI in general. We're gonna be producing over 20 videos on NDI in June and July here, so I'm very excited about it. You won't become a video production expert overnight, so hit that red subscribe button and join us along with the journey. That's all for now. I'll see you guys in the next video.